Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Draw Two. My name is Ramni, and this is another episode of Mini How to Draw, the show where I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step by step instructions. If you guys like what you see on this channel and you want to see more tutorial videos like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. It would help me a great deal. For this tutorial, as usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking afterwards. And of course, as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can hit that pause button at any time so that you guys can pause the video and catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your artwork looks a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. So having said all of that, you guys, grab your drawing tools and let's get started with the tutorial. All right, let's get started with Martian Manhunter and we're going to be drawing him in portrait mode. He's gonna be drawn full body, except we don't get to see his uh, legs really because of the way that he's angled. <clears throat> and let's get started. I'm going to first draw a circle right around here. No, I don't want, I don't want that circle to be too big, but it's gonna be right kind of, here's my paper and kind of on the upper uh, left uh, quadrant of my paper is where I draw the circle for the head. And then, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, um, bring two lines going down and then going in like this, I'm gonna make a really flat, flat jaw flat chin right there. So that's what the head is going to look like. From the head, I'm going to draw a line coming out. This is the shoulder. Goes out like this and and then I just make my way across and I'm going to draw this slightly large, almost the size of his head, um, shoulder about this big right right around here. Okay. Now beneath his uh, beneath his uh, chest right here, I'm going to draw or beneath his chin, I'm gonna draw his chest. And I'm gonna draw a little line coming out like this. That's gonna be the center of the chest. And I draw a line going across, kind of crossing the, the chin there. And then from here, I'm gonna draw one line going up to there. From here, at this point, I'm gonna draw a line kind of curving out, making its way like that. Okay, I'm gonna continue this line right here. I kinda of want this to go this way, just like that. Now let's go about here, and I'm gonna draw a line going this way, and then a line going across, and then sort of goes up like this. So that's the chest right here. That's how I want that to look. From here, I'm gonna draw a line going down, in, down some more. Over here, let's uh, figure out where the back is gonna go. It's gonna go down like this, and it goes in, and down like that, okay? So right around here, I'm gonna draw this shape and I'm just pretty much shaping the upper, that's the upper body, so this is the torso. This is the belt line right here. We'll add more details to that later on. Okay, now let's go over here. I'm gonna draw a half circle and another half circle this way. Now you notice that this half circle right here is actually bigger than this, but that's because of the way that he's angled. He's, he's sort of on his side. So you don't really see much of this one. This one's um, covered up a little, okay? So there's the Martian's general upper body. Let's work on the arms. Let's go back over here. And I want the arms to kind of go out this way and out like this. So this is how I want that arm to go, okay? So let's start shaping the bicep here. Looks like that and go over here. Let's draw the tricep. It looks like this. So it sort of makes this curve right here. It's the line for the forearm. We're gonna continue that line going down. And then here goes this way. We'll find the elbow. The elbow's gonna be right around here. Okay, let's go back over here. We're gonna draw this curve. And the line going, uh, angling down over here is going to be a curve like this. Okay, here's the wrist. I'm gonna draw the wrist going across and then Here's the little bump for the thumb. There's the actual thumb. It goes in and then down one. And then this one, let's just continue going across like this, up and then in. So that looks like a fist from the back. So this is the back of John Jones's hand. Okay, now let's go over here and let's work on the other arm. Starting with the shoulder, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna kind of draw this shape goes like that and goes to the side of the head like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw 
the bicep and tricep over that. And so it looks like a crescent moon. And then from here, I'm gonna draw, kind of coming from the back here, curve out like this and then down. Okay, let's draw the forearm and it goes like that. And then it goes wider here. So it looks like that. And you notice that it is smaller than this, of course, because it is further back. So it looks like that. Okay, right here, change direction somewhat, it goes like this, then goes down. Over here, here's that uh, bump for the thumb, and here's the actual thumb right here, and then knuckle, and that's it. Okay, so here's the upper body. The lower body is not too difficult. We're going to start by making that belt a little bit thicker. So it looks like that. So remember the center of the belt is going to be right here. Okay, let's start over here. We're going to draw this thigh. It goes out like this. And then it kind of goes down. Okay, now let's go over here. Let's kind of imagine where his crotch is going to go. And it's going to be right around there. Of course, it's going to be covered by garment. Okay, now that line it goes like this. In, here's the kneecap. And then just continue. So it looks like that. So you guys notice that it's fairly, fairly small in comparison to the body. That's because it is foreshortened. So that's what that looks like. And if you think that's small, this is going to be even smaller. It's pretty much just a bump that looks like this. And you don't really get to see the feet. The feet are going to be behind him. And that's what that looks like. Let's uh, bring two lines from here going up to the crotch. From here, let's draw a line going like this and going in to that point and then it kind of goes out. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw a line going up, just a faint one, and then another line over here, and that line right there. Okay, for the for this, you don't really get to see much, so let's just draw that line, a little bit of the belt, and then that line right there. Okay, so that's him flying. Now, we're going to have to shape, um, well, let's wrap the costume around him, so let's, uh, let's get started. Let's do this first before we go to the top. We're gonna bring this out from this side. Okay, here's the center line right here. So imagine that center line kind of really stretching and uh, going to the crotch. So we're gonna go on this side. We're gonna go kind of down to this point right here. So it's a little bit lower than the knee. Okay, and then we're gonna draw kind of an arrow shape here. So it looks like that. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring this point to right around here. So it looks like that. Okay, now let's go back over here. We're gonna bring a point going down to this point right there. And then right here, we're going to draw the rest of the costume. It's gonna cover the crotch area. So it looks like that. Okay, so it's part of uh, John Jones's costume right there. Let me just erase a little bit of this so that you guys can see what gets covered. So there you go. Now. Let's uh, start working on the costume and also the details. So let's start with John Jones's face. Now, this is one of those rare points where I don't really erase the bottom circle or the bottom of the circle that we initially did. But uh, I'm gonna draw a line going straight down. So that's the center line right there. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw the brow. And John Jones has a rather huge brow that extends all the way to the sides of the face. And it looks like that. Okay, so it sort of makes this angle like that meeting here. Okay, and on the sides of the brow, I bring it in like this and like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line going up from there. So it looks like that. Okay, and from there, I'm going to draw a couple of lines, kind of ridges on the sides, and I'm going to straighten this. I'm going to make that look more straight. I'm going to make this into a point right here and then down like that. All right, over here, here's the, the top of the brow there. Looks like that. And then from here, it kind of make this V shape kind of spreading out from the center, going out that way. and sort of makes its way up to the back of the head like that. So, I mean, John Jones does have a fairly um, unique head, I guess you could say, and it's not human because of course he is from Mars. And that's what that looks like. Let's draw the eyes. I'm 
just going to draw from here, straight line going across and then up. No peoples or anything. I'm just going to draw it like that. Okay, I'm going to find the nose. It's right there. There's the tip. Humanoid no nose looks like that. Okay, over here, I'm going to draw a series of lines one, two, one, and two. Those are kind of alien ridges, but at the same time, it gives them that angry look right there. Okay, from that ridge, I'm going to draw kind of just a line going out like that. Now, let's draw the cheek just beneath the eye here, like that, and right like this. Make those cheekbones kind of sharp. Okay, I'm going to bring a line from here all the way down to the chin. And just round off the chin. I'm going to keep it flat at the bottom, but right here is kind of rounded. And then over here, here's the jaw. So it kind of looks like that. Okay, let's give him a frown. So let's make him, let's draw a line going across. And then we're going to bring it down on each of the corners. And then here, a line going across and then kind of a upside down V beneath it. Okay, and then just a little dimple right there. And that is John Jones, the Martian Manhunter's face. All right, let's zoom out now and let's work on the costume. I'm gonna start with the, we drew this circle. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna divide it into eight lines. So there's a, there's a cross, I did the cross right there. You notice that I curved these lines, they're not going quite straight. Okay, of course, kind of like a pizza goes that way and here goes this way. So that's that's the chest emblem right there. Underneath, I'm going to create this kind of a U shape from this chest to this chest, just outlining the circle. And I'm going to bring this up to about there and there. And I'm going to bring that to the armpit area. And here kind of goes off to the side, just like that. And then let's just reshape the chest here. So it looks like that. Now beneath that, he's got the straps that go from here and here. Okay, find these two lines. And we're going to bring them down to here and about here. Like that. And then on this side, from the corner and here, going all the way out to this point right here and here. And there you go. Let's add some muscles over here. A little line for going across the chest here. And beneath that, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to create this curve that goes in like that. And then another one going down right there. Okay, the back goes in like that. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, over here, we leave those lines. And before we do anything with the abs, Let's start shaping the belt. And for the belt, it kind of goes down. I'm going to find a spot right here and right here. I'm going to draw it going up like that. And then I'm going to make it go across like this. Okay, so it kind of goes above. And imagine these sort of extending going down to this little, um, this little flap that goes over the crotch. No idea what that's called. But a lot of people have it, like a Scorpion Sub-Zero, they have this thing, kind of a loincloth type of thing. Okay, so so imagine these kind of connect, they go up. Okay, now I'm going to redraw some lines going underneath those lines. And, and once you get here, you want this to go all the way to the back, like that. Same thing here, you want this to go all the way to the other side, just like that. Okay. Now we do the same thing down here with this line. And then from here, this goes all the way to the back like this. And same thing here, going all the way to the side on this side. So now we've got that shape. And then finally, I'm gonna draw a line there and a line over here. And then a line going across. That's just a design that is on this little, whatever this is. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Just gonna redraw the crotch shape on that. 
there you go. Now let's work on, well, I guess we can start working on the cape. The reason why um, my drawing for Martian Manhunter is so low is because this cape is going to be up at the top. So let's start working on where the cape sort of comes off his, um, his body. So we're going to start right here. We're going to make this one go across. And then we're going to go back over here and then make it go across again like that. So it comes out from here, goes out like this. So that's one of the new designs for Martian Manhunter is that his cape comes off of the shoulders, really, and not over the, not, not in the neck, like in the old design. Okay, from here, it kind of goes up. I'm going to bring this all the way out. Let's bring it all the way out to the corner. Okay, and then this one, go back over here. I'm going to make this shape first. Have a little piece of tape there. So just make it go all the way to the corner, just like that. Okay, from here, imagine this going down, goes down this way, and then sort of goes back in like that. Okay, behind his head, imagine kind of above. Let's make a little wave from there all the way to here is a good spot. So it looks like that. From here, I'm gonna draw a wave from here it peaks over here and then imagine a line from going from here going up. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Now we can draw a couple of wavy lines going out from here, from the back of the head. From the shoulder going out. Okay. Now over here I'm going to draw this going like this and then another wave. So it looks like that. And that just continues. And I guess over here we can start shaping the shoulder. We do see a little bit of the shoulder. So let's add some muscle definition to the shoulder. So one here, another one right here. Sort of makes that triangular shape. And then we erase this. And we don't really get to see much of the forearm. But we do get to see the shoulder. And well, let's just draw the shoulder kind of going like that. And then just going off into the distance. That. Okay, let me erase this part right here. That's all part of the cape, so. Alright, so that's what that looks like. Let's uh, give this shoulder a little bit of definition as well. How about that? Okay, right here we're going to draw the clavicle. Let's actually, from here, we're going to draw two lines going up as part of the costume and a line. Let's draw another line in the center of those two. Okay. Now here is the collarbone. Collarbone kind of goes like that. And over here it goes this way. Now let's draw a couple of necklines. Goes down there. Down over here. Going across there. So that's what that looks like. Now let's draw, let's draw the, the arm, the hand, the forearm. Here's the bicep right there. Forearm, the line coming out like this from the, from the bicep going out. And then right here, line like this, and then line going out like that. And tiny little line like this. So there you have a clenched fist on that hand. So he's got some spikes in the back of his forearm, but we don't really get to see that on this arm. But over here we do. So let's uh, work on this arm now. And traditionally also, a lot of artists like to draw the um, veins kind of popping out of uh, Martian Manhunter's arms. So we can do that. Start over here very faintly. Goes like that. And then, and then from here goes in to there and then there you go so that's just some veins popping out i'm not going to add too much of that and over here so here's the bicep this continues this way to there there's the tricep tricep kind of goes out like that okay so there's the arm and then over here once we get to the elbow i'm going to draw a curve going out and then go back over here 
with this kind of going out like this as well. And then over here goes out there. And then over here goes out to there. Okay, now here, bring your way up the arm like that. So it looks like that. Forearm muscle. And we'll just draw a little elbow point right there. Okay, and then lastly, let's draw the hand. Here's the thumb, goes in and then down. Okay, and then another line like that, so it looks like a V. Here's the first finger, here's the second finger, third finger, and here's the fourth. There you go, and I think let's give him some abs. So just a line going across here, and then from here, just a line going across to the side. Not too much detail on the abs. And that's it, you guys. So once you have that, you've finished with Martian Manhunter. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please go over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there or head on to Instagram and tag me in any of your art so that we can see it and so everyone can see it and we can all enjoy your masterpieces. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you feel like being extra generous and you want to support this channel even more, I now have links to my art store down below, draw2.storeenvy.com. Plus I have links to merchandise that you can buy such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads with the Draw2 logo on them. And I now have a Patreon page, so if you guys feel like supporting me on Patreon, I have a link to that down below as well. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Like I said in the beginning, here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys like what you see, please hit that subscribe button below. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget, you guys can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a coloring page of this tutorial, plus all the other tutorials that I have in this channel. Again, you guys, all of those links are found down in the description below. Again, thank you one more time and as always stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.